Of all the years, perhaps this year, we most need a reminder that progress is happening, even if it's not on this planet. In a much anticipated press conference this afternoon, NASA announced that water has been definitively found on the moon. The discovery could allow astronauts to have longer space missions with a water source to hydrate them and potential to make fuel for their rocket. And it's great news. What this means is that there's potentially lots more of an exciting resource, water. We don't have to take so much from Earth to the moon uh, for astronauts to be able to live and work there. And all of that will be more opportunities for discovery and the science that we will get um, by sending humans to the moon to understand the history of the moon and what it means for us here on Earth. Research 11 years ago first indicated water was on the moon. But this discovery has proven it for sure and shown that it is more widespread than previously thought, not just in the shadows, but also in the sunlit parts of the moon. The scientists estimate there are as much as 1,500 square miles of permanent shadows on the moon in various shapes and sizes containing pockets of water in the form of ice. But how usable the water is, is still unknown where it is, um, what form it takes, how we might be able to turn that into something usable. These are all still questions that would need to be answered. And we've got missions that are on their way um, to the lunar south pole, where, where we, this water is being seen, which will help to answer some of those questions. One of them is an instrument from the Open University, um, which has been developed uh, for a mission that's due to land on the south pole, the lunar south pole, in, in 2025. How would the water have come to be there? Do we know anything about that? I think one of the questions is how did it come to be there? How did it stay there? Um, possibly it's the result of bombardment of, of meteorites hitting the moon, staying there. There's I think other ideas um, that it could be deposited there in the solar wind and through radiation. Um, what this water looks like, how it's there, these are the details that still need to be um, uncovered and understood by scientists. It's been 50 years since the incredible feat of man landing on the moon. Today's discovery means they're one step closer to understanding our nearest neighbour. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And prepare for the next giant leap, human exploration of Mars, as early as the next decade.